Hi, I'm Oscar from the YouTube channel The Oscar, and you're watching Real Tubers. This hasn't been the best year for YouTube. There's been a massive amount of controversy, and dozens of YouTubers have been accused of and admitted to sexually abusing fans. And all this has made many people lose faith in the YouTube community. Many people are just starting to see it as a place for just young, attractive teens to get views and for fangirls to obsess over them. And it's not uncommon for you to hear that the community is dead. And in a way, yes, it is dead. The community from 2006, 2007 is dead, but there still is a community. The community has changed just like almost everything does. I mean, we're no longer just one community. Now there are a bunch of different communities on YouTube, like Nerdfighteria, The Beard Lovers, The Nation, and so on and so forth. And those smaller communities come together and make one YouTube community. And as the community changes and gets bigger, different problems start to come up. Now that anybody can get famous from making videos from their home, more and more people are coming onto YouTube with that being their only intent. And this makes people mad for many different reasons. Like, it can be very frustrating when you put 10 to 15 hours into writing, shooting, and editing a video that you've worked very hard to make original and fun and only have it get 100 views. And then somebody gets 30,000 views for doing the ice cream challenge which I really want to be a thing now that I think about it. And it really pisses people off when those same YouTubers have hundreds of people surrounding them at gatherings and they don't even treat them like people, just mindless fangirls that get them more money. And those same fans do crazy stuff when it comes to their favorite YouTuber. Like at gatherings like Playlist Life and VidCon, many people have been literally trampled by fangirls who want to meet their favorite YouTuber. And when many YouTubers were outed and admitted to sexually abusing fans, many fans were quick to defend them and sent harassing messages to the victims. But even though the YouTube community has gone through all these changes, that's not necessarily a bad thing. This is kind of obvious, but as the community gets bigger, more and more people are going to be a part of our community. And those same people are going to feel that sense of community and self-expression that made us love YouTube in the first place. Like, I remember before I found YouTube, I was this weird, awkward kid that felt like he didn't belong anywhere. Then when I joined YouTube, I was a part of a community that celebrated being fun, random, and weird, and I had never thought that even existed. For the first time in my life, I found more more people like me. And I can say that in all my life, I've never felt as bad about myself as I did before I started YouTube. And as the community gets bigger, that same thing is going to happen to more and more people every day. And not to mention, this community raises hundreds of thousands of dollars for charity every year in the Project for Awesome. And we've also gone from a community that ignores things like sexual assault to one that actively talks about it. And yeah, in every community, there's going to be crappy people who do crappy things. But if you let that stop you from enjoying what the rest of the community has to offer, then you're going to be missing out. I'd like to thank Luke for letting me on this channel. I have two other videos talking about other stuff going on in the YouTube community on my channel, so be sure to go check those out. And while you're there, check out my other videos. I promise they're more fun. Be sure to subscribe to Real Tubers, and I'll see you guys later.